I think we are seeing the most disruptive force in history here. We will have the first time something that is smarter than the smartest human. There will come a point where no job is needed. The amount of change we're going to see over the next five years will dwarf everything that's happened over the last 30. But now we're introducing machine intelligence, you know, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, neural networks, etc. So, and what that enables is the automation of automation, right? And so the people who were writing software, particularly at the lower end, unless you, you're doing right. these advanced things, they're gone. Um, and I think the white jo collar jobs will go a lot faster. Blue collar job may be a little slower because more people are shifting to the software only displacement. And, and I think it's a very, very significant problem. And I think finally some governments are waking up and realize they have to do something. I don't think people understand what's about to happen here. We're entering a phase where everything will change and AI will eat up everything. For those of you who think that this is some science fiction, you need to wake up and realize the urgency of the situation because everyone's job is at risk here. The task force will get reduced significantly and only a small percentage of jobs will survive. Those who secure the remaining jobs will reap the reward while everyone else will be left behind. AI isn't just coming for a few industries, it's coming for every profession. The advancements in machine learning and automation are accelerating at an unprecedented pace. We're not talking about some distant future, we're talking about the next few years. What would your kind of observation be on, on AI and the impact on labor markets and people's jobs and how they should feel about that as they, as they think about this? Well, I think we are seeing the most disruptive force in history here. Um, you know, where we have for the first time, we will have for the first time something that is smarter than the smartest human. There will come a point where no job is needed. You can have a job if you want to have a job for sort of personal satisfaction, but the AI will be able to do everything. So I don't know if that makes people comfortable or uncomfortable. It, it's, it's, <laughs> uh, one of the challenges in the future will be how do we find meaning in life if, if you have a magic genie that can do everything you want. I, I, I do think we, we it's, it's, it's hard, you know, when, it is, when, when there's new technology, it tends to ha have usually follow an S-curve. In this mm -hmm. case, we're going to be on the exponential portion of the S-curve for a long time. This transformation won't just reduce the form force, it will completely reshape it. Companies will no longer need large teams of employees, and I'm sorry you could see that nowadays with the layoffs that are happening on a lot of tech companies and a lot of regular companies as well, and they call it efficiency or improving efficiency in work. But instead what's happening is that they will, and they are relying on small teams of highly skilled individuals who can manage and optimize AI systems. And in the future, this is gonna get worse and worse, meaning every company will reduce their teams to significantly lower version of what they are currently. The competition for these specific roles will be fierce though because a lot of the people who used to do all these repetitive tasks or just general tasks will get reduced by a few people who will be utilizing advanced AI tools to do these works faster and more efficient. And what this is going to do is going to leave a vast majority of the workforce scrambling to find their place in a new world. If you're in the Fortune 500, um, if you're an S&P 500 company, if you're in the Dow 30, right, if you're one of the bigger companies, you already know this. And in talking to a lot of these big companies, they know their workforce is, you know, and given the supply and demand of stocks, the supply is shrinking, right. and the demand is going up just as the economy grows, that's probably good news for stocks over the long term, but it's bad news for employment and it's bad news for people who are disrupted. If you thought that people were struggling the past few years, just wait till you see what happens in the next few years as AI takes over majority of jobs. Governments and corporations, they don't care about you or me. They're focused on efficiency and profit, not your job security. It's your responsibility to update your skills and make sure they are AI focused, regardless of what industry you're in, because every single industry will get impacted by AI, automation, and efficient tools that are created by AI that's gonna do the work of 10 people. And in return, every industry and company will require only a few people who are extremely efficient at using AI tools to automate their work, and everybody else will be kicked to the curb.
You need to become one of these people. And the only way to do this is to be aware, educate yourself, and train an AI tool specific to your field to stay ahead. Continuously learning and upscaling will be the only way to stay relevant. But even then, there's no guarantee of security. But of course, you're giving yourself a chance. The economic implications are staggering right now. So entire industries could collapse, leading to widespread unemployment and economic instability. The gap between rich and the poor will widen. And as those who can afford to invest in and understand AI technology will dominate the job market. The rest will face a harsh reality of limited opportunities and increasing financial struggles. As an engineer in the world of tech who lives in the San Francisco area, I see firsthand how AI is going to impact everything. I see tools that are being developed every day in every industry that is utilizing AI to make the work more efficient. And based on the progress I'm seeing, I think you only have two years or you will be replaced, I promise you that. The clock is ticking and the time is to act now. Starting now, this channel, I will focus on the impact of AI and how it will change every industry. I'll share what you can do to stay ahead of the game. Make sure you subscribe and keep an eye out for upcoming videos where I will discuss strategies to outpace your competition and secure those few job opportunities that will survive the AI revolution. Again, I'm part of this, right? I'm working in tech, but I am part of a normal industry and I am part of this tech industry that's going to get impacted significantly as well. So we're in this together and together we'll learn and grow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next.